you have to see it to believe it. But again, another brother from another mother, give it up. But da David, Thomas, Jarecki. I thought that I'd become a fully grown adult when I first chose the cool compromise over the ignorant insult. But just as sure as a turbulent night transcends a pitiful dawn, I was proven to be positively wrong and lost every bit of will within my slouching spine once strong. In a dark bar on a Thursday night, an angel in the light inspired thought through sight. No gloom in her grin as she casually allowed our acquaintance to begin. Caring not if I was wrong or right, she kindly complimented my will to recite and write about joy and fright filling me with celestial hope before taking flight. On Friday, she appeared again at a luau that she was unlikely to attend. As the evening evolved from this everlasting trend, she approached me from afar, accompanied by a friend. The glow of these islands in grass skirts divided a sea of drunks in Hawaiian shirts. Being an advocate of freedom over power, how could I honestly attempt to capture this angelic flower? As she danced the tropical tunes for about an hour, I crept in the corner to cower, letting my thoughts and emotions go misunderstood as she took off again, this time apparently for good. How else could I have reacted to her miraculous mosaic? I'm like a paranoid schizophrenic, a depressive that's manic on the verge of going spastic. I think that I'm psychic about everything except the hope I tend to evict when trying to predict the length of an angel's visit. There's something about the sacristy of solace which convinces the spirituality in my spine that my lonely life is already polished. It's nice that I can keep myself from getting pissed by holding my heart at an arm's distance. But there's something about, there's something about missing out on that kiss which makes me wish from within my solace for this bliss. And just when I convince myself that the best place for my heart is on the shelf, I get a call of the most harmonious kind from the type of angelic island I've yearned for since the beginning of time. <laughs> I wonder what kind of moronic slumber I must have been under to forget to put some thunder in the hope she'd remember to call my number. I broke out of being alone and traveled to her home, leaving behind all my past torments by hoping that those first few moments would eventually evolve us into withered grandparents. I tell no lies, her eyes amaze me because they were covered by no disguise, calmly reflecting the unseen skies to dissolve the deceit of flirtation that I despise. I left my heart open as if its beat just began the moment her wingspan comforted my worldly stand. Definitely a being from heaven, she read my words on a whim, laughing, reciting, absolving sin, selflessly giving her faith to my compiled confusion. I knew that I'd become a fully grown adult when I finally chose calm confidence over the depressive default. And just as sure as a succulent night transcends a spiritual song, I was proven to be positively right and regained every bit of will within my arching spine now strong. <laughs>